the other day I completed all the achievements for Blasphemous 2. You'd think this means that I experienced the depth of the game's systems, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> there was one system that I scratched the surface of but missed the true depth until after I'd beaten the game for the first time. So I'm making this PSA for those who might follow in my footsteps and miss out on some of the most unique mechanics in the game. Let's get into it. In Blasphemous 2, you collect statues that can be placed in the altarpiece of favors on the Penitent One's back to give him special bonuses and passive abilities. Statues are arranged in the altarpiece in pairs, and these pairings can make resonances. Resonances are additional bonuses on top of those from each statue that are granted when certain pairs of statues are put beside one another in the altarpiece. During my 30 hours with the game, I believed that the only four resonances were those gained by pairing two statues from the same category. These would give resonances, providing a damage bonus to one of the three weapons, or to all elemental damage types, when pairing statues sharing the same category, and I thought that was the extent of the system. Early on, I'd messed around with pairing statues from different categories, to no success. So imagine my surprise when mere hours after believing I'd conquered the game, I stumbled upon this Blasphemous 2 Reddit post. Guide for Hidden Favor Resonances in Blasphemous 2. Hidden what now? Turns out you in fact can pair statues from different categories to make unique resonances and they are very clever. I won't spoil the extent of these unique resonances or their pairings, but I'd like to give a few examples to get an idea of how cool they are. One pairing turns the fires of Veredicto to Toxic Miasma, with the other weapons having similar elemental transformations. Another gives your dodge lightning bolts that damage nearby enemies, and another turns certain prayers occult. Pretty awesome and transformative stuff, and that's not even the most exciting that I've seen. All in all, there appear to be 20 unique resonances, and that doesn't even include the regular four I mentioned previously. So I'm making this PSA because this system is very cool, and I also think very easy to miss. I spoke with others who have played Blasphemous 2, and only one out of the six of us discovered these hidden resonances organically during our first playthrough. Now I very well could be part of a clueless cabal, and of course this is anecdotal, but I don't think this is an uncommon experience. The tooltip for the Altarpiece of Favors is vague about resonances, stating that the statues can react in mysterious ways when placed next to others. And I did experiment with different combinations of statues, but stopped experimenting once I saw the iconography of the resonances match the statue categories, mistakenly concluding that this was the extent of the system. Even then, these resonances were adequate to play through the game, and the variety in statues generally gave me plenty to chew on. But dang, it's so much cooler getting to pull out some of the hidden resonances and is something I wish I knew when initially playing through the game. So that's the PSA. Go experiment with the statue pairings and the altarpiece of favors. It's so much cooler than it first appears. Did you discover hidden resonances yourself in Blasphemous 2? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you're looking for more Blasphemous content, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. Thanks for watching.